To assist a resident with dressing, you of course need their clothing, which is typically in their room. So I'll knock on the door. I'll wash my hands. Hi Lee, it's Myra. I'm here to get you dressed. Are you ready? All right, we're gonna provide some privacy. So I picked out this shirt and this pair of pants. Is that okay for you today? Okay, sounds good. So when a resident has a contracted or a weak side, so one that's less mobile, um, we want to put the clothing on that side first so the strong side can move around and um, use that. It's, it's easier to put the clothing on the side that's contracted. He is already wearing a gown, so we're going to do the opposite thing and take it off the strong side. So for this situation, Lee's left side is the contracted or the weak side. So we're going to start over on the strong side and remove his gown. Because this side is more mobile, he's able to I'm gonna untie the gown. He's more able to move this arm because when the clothing is on, it's more restrictive. Okay, and I'm gonna be rolling him on his side, so I'm gonna put this side rail up before I leave. And keep him covered. Okay, keep it call light here. We're going to get the gown off this side. And this is the arm that doesn't move very well, so we're going to put the shirt on that side first. And it's helpful to reach through the sleeve and hold their hand and bring the shirt up. Now if the person has a shirt that goes over the head, oftentimes this sort of mobility, the arms moving forward, is harder for older people. So it's good to put it over the arms first and then over the head, as opposed to putting it over the head and then trying to get their arms up and down to go into the shirt. So we have that on the weak side. And then we're going to put the pants on both legs here. And we can do the same thing. Put your hand down the pant leg. And then you can kind of guide it over the foot. If you need to pick up the leg, pick it up behind the knee joint so you don't hyperextend the leg. And I'm going to put the pants on the other leg as far as I can as well. We're going to pull the pants up as far as we can. And then I would put his socks on at this point. Okay, we'll get rid of his dirty gown. Okay, Lee, I'm going to have you move over towards me on three. One, two, three. Okay, and then on three, I'm going to have you roll over towards that side rail on your right side and make sure your arm is out. One, two, three. Okay, from the back side, I'm going to pull the pants up over his hip here. And then I want to tuck this shirt underneath them as far as it will go. Okay, you can roll back. All right, we'll keep you covered. And go over to the other side of the bed. Okay, put this side rail down. Okay, have that side rail up. I'm going to move your arm out. 
Okay, we're gonna roll onto your left side on three. One, two, three. Okay, we're gonna get the shirt all the way through. Get his pants pulled up on this side. Okay, let's go back onto your back. And since this is his more mobile side, it's easier to put the hand through the shirt again. It's easier for him to stretch this arm out and get it into the shirt. Okay. And we would button his pants and button his shirt. Does everything seem okay to you? Okay. All right, let's lower your bed again. Make sure that's locked. Lower the side rail. Okay, are you comfortable? There's your call light. Your bed's low, we got it locked. We'll put this in the dirty linen and then we'll open the curtain and I'll wash my hands.